black and white. Come on. Classic. Dark blue. Dark. Dark classic. Default. Elegant. Flexi. Industrial blue. Light green. Light gray. Hi everyone and welcome. This tutorial will be a quick start guide for using the Birdline Skins Lab for Samplitude and Sequoia. So I have the Birdline Skins Lab application open now. I'm going to focus on the first option which is the standard suite skins. To quote the text, this is just a simple installer. It creates the standard Birdline skins and installs them in Samplitude and Sequoia. It has no preview or editing options. So I'm going to left click where it says Standard Suite Skins. So the installer has detected multiple versions. And these are the versions I have installed on my computer. For this tutorial I'm going to highlight Samplitude Pro X8 Suite and click OK. So now another window has opened. And there is a list of 12 different skins you can choose from. These are the skins I showed you at the start of this video. I'm going to go with the dark blue skin. The skin is automatically named and I'm clicking on create and install skin. So that skin will be installed in the Samplitude Pro X8 bitmaps folder. So I've opened the Samplitude Pro X8 suite and the default carbon skin is loaded. I now need to switch to the dark blue skin I've just installed. I'm pressing Y on the keyboard and going down to where it says Design Skins. I've actually installed all of the Birdline skins previously, but anyway I'm going to choose dark blue from the list. So the dark blue skin has been loaded. The next thing to do, which is important, is to go to Colors, then choose Birdline Dark Blue, and this will load the background which matches the rest of the skin. I'm clicking on the mixer icon to open the mixer, which is docked. So the mixer has been reskinned to the Birdline Dark Blue theme. I'm double clicking on the MIDI object to open the MIDI editor. This has quite a dark background, but it is possible to customize an additional background. You can do this using the custom skins option, which I will explain in the next video. Double clicking on the audio object will open the object editor, which has also been reskinned with the dark blue theme. I'm going to quickly open another skin, which I installed earlier, which will be a lighter one. Press Y again and go to Design Skins and I'm going to choose Default. I'm then going to Colors again and I'm choosing Default to load the matching background. So now we have the Birdline Default skin loaded. Here's the mixer. Double click on the MIDI object and this MIDI editor has a lighter background. And the same with the object editor. So that's how you install Birdline skins using the simple installer. You can purchase the Birdline skins lab by following the links I have provided below this video. A discount will be given to new users or existing users wishing to upgrade.